you want to combine the power of Todoist and Notion, maybe you're using Notion more for your day-to-day, -day, your multimedia stuff, whatever that might be, but you're using Todoist for your task tracking or you're using it with Teams, whatever it is you want to combine and use those together, then this is the right video for you. All right, let's jump into it. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy. So I've set up a page here in Notion and we're gonna go through how you can add in Todoist. So first things first, this sometimes uh, can have some issues. I've heard I haven't tried it, but on mobile. So I'm talking about the desktop only. Your experience may vary on mobile. So just that as a disclaimer, I'm sure over time it will improve, uh, but I'm on the desktop and the browser and we're gonna go from there. I'm already logged into Todoist. Um, I suggest you do that. You don't have to, but if you add this into Notion and you're not logged in, you'll have to go through that process again. So why not just open up uh, Todoist in your browser, go ahead and get logged in, make things easier for yourself. Now, what I've done is created a page. I just want to go through the steps for it. So for those of you who just want to see this working, we can get to that. And then I'm going to explain a few use cases after that. So I've got a page here and I've got the link. So this is all you really need is todoist.com slash app. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and copy it. And then we're going to go to down here and we're going to use the embed command. Okay. That's what we want to do. And then we want to embed the link and we just paste that in and click embed and that's going to get to work in the background it's going to take a minute to pull it up if it's your first time it honestly might take a minute uh, the first time i did it before recording just to make sure everything would go smoothly uh, it took a minute or two but then this time it's working much more quickly now you can see on the screen i've got the adjustment bars here so what you can do is change the size of um, your embed and this may work better if you have um, you know many tasks many projects however it is you have it set up um, and also if you're able to expand uh, the width then you can see we can bring up the sidebars you can see your projects you can um, bring all of that up so that can be really handy depending on how you want to do it if you don't have enough space on your screen you may want to come over here and you know go full width on the page um, or change the area where you have it if you're using columns of course that's going to restrict the width of the page um, but really that is how you get that in there now a couple things uh, if you want to delete it for whatever reason, this is a normal block. You can just click on the dots, click delete and get it out of there. Um, obviously not going to do that for right now, um, but you, this is fully functional. When you're in here, you can click it, open it, look at pictures of my cat uh, in the window, <laughs> uh, do whatever you need to do. Now, the use cases on this are kind of interesting. I want to give you an idea of how I would go about this. Um, I used to do something similar in using Rome Research was where I did and where I still have my daily uh, journaling, my daily notes. And so I would put things into there, but I had an embed that I would use um, from a different service and that would be there on my uh, daily um, notes. And so I would bring up a template and populate that and it would be there already. So I see the power if you do something similar in Notion, whether it's, you know, maybe your daily action page, your daily note taking page, that you have that um, on that page and maybe you have a template that you have duplicated every single day. Um, there are some ways to automate some two-way syncs. I want to add this on. I have not used this, but I came across this um, while looking into ways to use uh, Notion and Todoist together. Um, so you can sync Notion uh, with Todoist basically 100%. And so I'm just putting this out there. You can look at it. It's, it's the number two, S-Y-N-C, two sync.com. Um, it is a paid application, uh, but it's listed on the Todoist page. Might be something worth looking into if you're looking for more than an embed and you want to actually kind of tie the two together in terms of maybe task management. Um, but I think for a lot of people, this is going to be enough. If you want to maybe work in Notion most of the day, but you love the task tracking um, of Todoist, which is a great tool to use, then this may be the way to do it is just to embed it if you don't want to literally connect, you know, um, calendars and task management between the two. So give it a shot. Let me know if you got any questions about this. Happy to get back to you.